the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt, a perfect storm of nature and human impact. The Caribbean's once pristine beaches, famed for their tranquil turquoise waters and soft sands, are increasingly battling a relentless, unwelcome visitor. A colossal belt of sargassum seaweed, stretching an astonishing 5,000 miles across the Atlantic. This massive bloom, far exceeding anything seen in the past, is wreaking havoc on coastal ecosystems, human health, and the vital tourism industry, leaving scientists scrambling to understand the forces driving this ecological catastrophe. For over a decade, the Caribbean and Gulf coasts have been inundated with gargantuan clumps of the seaweed, creating a pungent, decaying mass that smothers beaches, suffocates marine life, and poses significant health risks. The sheer scale of the problem is staggering, forcing local governments and businesses to grapple with costly cleanup efforts and a dramatic downturn in tourism revenue. Previous theories attributed the surge in sargassum to an overabundance of nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, primarily stemming from agricultural runoff carried by major rivers like the Congo, Amazon, and Mississippi. While these nutrient influxes undoubtedly contribute to the problem, a groundbreaking study published in Nature Communications suggests a more significant underlying cause, a dramatic shift in atmospheric conditions. Researchers at the University of South Florida, USF, in collaboration with international scientists from the University of Toulouse, Sorbonne University, and the Center for Scientific Research and Higher Education, have identified a tipping point in the Atlantic's atmospheric pressure, beginning around 2009. This shift triggered significant alterations in ocean circulation and wind patterns. These changes, they argue, are the primary driver propelling vast quantities of sargassum into the warmer tropical waters. Here, fueled by abundant sunlight, the seaweed undergoes rapid photosynthesis, resulting in the exponential growth of the massive blooms that eventually wash ashore. This was a surprising result, explained Frank muller Carter a distinguished professor and biological oceanographer at USF's College of Marine Science. Using sophisticated computer modeling, muller carger's team meticulously replicated the sargassum's transport via powerful ocean currents, demonstrating how the altered atmospheric conditions, specifically linked to the negative North Atlantic Oscillation, NAO, contributed to the formation of this colossal seaweed belt. The models vividly illustrated the interplay of atmospheric pressure shifts, ocean currents, and the subsequent explosive growth of the sargassum, painting a clear picture of the escalating crisis. The consequences are far-reaching and devastating. The decomposing seaweed releases harmful gases, creating a foul odor that repels tourists and impacts the health of local communities. Furthermore, the dense mats of sargassum deprive marine life of oxygen, leading to mass die-offs of fish and other organisms. The decaying vegetation also harbors dangerous pathogens, including the flesh-eating Vibrio bacteria. Scientists at Florida Atlantic University, FAU, have warned of a perfect pathogen storm, highlighting the serious implications for both marine life and public health. The high levels of Vibrio bacteria found within the decomposing sargassum present a significant threat to humans, particularly those with compromised immune systems. Skin infections and other illnesses linked to contact with the contaminated seaweed are becoming increasingly prevalent. The economic impact is equally devastating. Coastal communities heavily reliant on tourism are facing unprecedented challenges. Businesses are struggling to stay afloat as tourists are deterred by the unsightly, foul-smelling seaweed blanketing the beaches. The cost of cleanup efforts is substantial, placing an added strain on already stretched local resources. The long-term economic consequences of this ecological crisis remain uncertain, but are likely to be significant. The USF study provides crucial insights into the mechanisms driving the formation of the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt, offering a crucial first step towards developing effective mitigation strategies. However, the complexity of the issue demands a multifaceted approach. Addressing the underlying nutrient pollution from agricultural runoff is essential, but equally important is understanding and adapting to the changes in atmospheric conditions that are exacerbating the problem. International collaboration is critical in monitoring the sargassum blooms, developing effective cleanup techniques, 
and mitigating the environmental and economic consequences of this devastating phenomenon. The future of the Caribbean's coastal ecosystems and economies hangs in the balance, demanding immediate and concerted action to address this escalating environmental crisis. Failure to act decisively risks irreparable damage to these vital ecosystems and the livelihoods of millions who depend on them. The time for decisive action is now. The fate of the Caribbean's iconic beaches and the communities that depend on them rests on our ability to understand, adapt, and ultimately conquer this challenging environmental adversary. The ongoing research and international collaboration are crucial in developing effective strategies to manage this growing threat, ensuring the preservation of these valuable coastal ecosystems for future generations. Only through a concerted global effort can we hope to mitigate the devastating impacts of the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt and secure a sustainable future for the Caribbean.